We started off the day by visiting Menji Shrine, which is just around the corner from Harajuku Station. After a short walk, you'll come across a huge collection of sake barrels. Each year, these are donated from sake breweries all around Japan, as sake is the connection between people and gods, and also used in many ceremonies and festivals. After a short walk, you come across the main buildings, which are all made out of Japanese cypress wood. The shrine is open every day of the year, from sunrise to sunset. You'll find people praying, paying respects, as well as getting married. On to visit the park and get some treats. Every Sunday in the Yogi Park, you'll find rockabilly dancers swinging away to rock music for hours. playing frisbee yeah. and it's just a super nice day in the park oh yeah this is awesome it's just so interesting to see their take on hanging in a park um got some juggling going on some frisbee playing and it's not just frisbee playing and like i know it it's literally having the frisbee roll across their bodies and such and then you got some gangsters dancing in the park on the other side like what just a regular sunday in harju <laughs> exploring a yogi park for a bit, we then headed to Takashita Street for snacks and people watching. fashion stores on the street covering a wide range of styles. This place was highly recommended. We had quite a long lineup for their croquet show, Cream Puffs. I love the care that they take with wrapping everything up and the last snack of the night was made from a single potato and spiraled out right in front of us. Unfortunately, we got them in cheese sauce, which was way too overpowering. Oh, mm -hmm. 
の遠くから君。We then grab some quick vegetarian ramen before making the annual pilgrimage to Kitty Land. The store has over five floors and a wide variety of different Japanese toys. From your traditional Studio Ghibli stuff to some other interesting creations. Definitely worth checking out if you have trinkets to buy for someone back home. Or you just want to treat yourself. The night wouldn't be complete without bubble tea, which has taken Japan by storm and is much more popular than it was last time we were there. We had a fantastic royal milk tea there, as well as a matcha green tea with pearls. So good. Thanks a lot for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like, and leave a comment down below. See you guys in the next one. あ、